Hello everyone, this is another of a series of videos dedicated to the chemistry of Petsim. As a reminder, they are all based on chapter 16 uh, of Mark Murray, Organic Chemistry, and you do have a scanned copy of this chapter available on Blackboard. In a previous video, we looked at the reaction, uh, the most common reaction of benzene ring, which is electrophilic aromatic acid substitutions. And in this video, I'm going to be looking at Friedel Crafts as alkylations and acylations, which is another common uh, reactive reaction of benzene rings. So um, the Friedel Crafts reaction. Um, the Friedel Crafts reaction involves the aromatic substitution. Um, in a benzene ring by a carbocation. The way to form the carbocation is by using aluminium chloride. So, for example, uh, in this example, you have um, um, an alkyl, uh, alkyl chloride, um, and with the use of aluminium chloride, you form the carbocation, and then uh, Again, an electrophilic aromatic substitution. This is a, an, well, an, elect, an electrophile, and you, there is a nucleophilic attack of the electrons from the benzene ring on the carbocation. Inter, it will be an intermediate, uh, this carbocation intermediate in which aromaticity is lost, an easy loss of a hydrogen from the benzene ring to form, a, to re recover aromaticity and, and end up with a substituted, um, substituted benzene ring with an alkyl uh, fragment. There are some issues with the friedel craft alkylations uh, in terms of the reagents you can use and the, um, and the compounds you end up with. And they are related to how easy it is to form uh, that carbocation first and how easy it is to predict how that carbocation is going to look like. And as you will see in this in subsequent slides, there's not that easy to, to predict. Well, it is easy to predict, but it's not easy to control what product you're going to end up forming. Only alkyl halides can be used, fluorinated, chlorinated, you know, with fluorine, chlorine, iodine, or bromine. If you have an aryl halide, you know, like um, a halide with a with a aromatic compound, or a vinylic halide, when you have this uh, uh, double bond, carbon-carbon, they, they don't react. And that is because the carbocations that you need to form using these two halides are too difficult to, to form, so the reaction doesn't progress. It doesn't work if you have a, a benzene that already has a substituent, and that substituent um, it has um, a nitrogen group, an amino group, or other groups that are uh, that withdraw electronic charge from the ring. So, for example, if you have a substituted uh, benzene, uh, benzene that already has a, um, a substituent on it, and you are trying to add an alkyl halide by this Friedel Craft alkylation, if you have an amino group, or if you have a sulfonic group, or an aldehyde, or um, a, a nitrile group, a nit uh, NO2 group, a nitro group, etc., the reaction will not happen. And that is because, and we will look at this, uh, this effect in a future video, this substituent pulls from the electrons of the ring. So your benzene is a worst um, electrophile. The reaction is more difficult and it's particularly difficult when you are trying to, you know, when, when, it's, when your um, substituent benzene is trying to attack um, a carbocation. Another problem with Friedel Crafts alkylations is to control what product you are going to end up. Um, sometimes you can get a um, multiple alkylation, so you have more than one alkyl group in the in the structure, and that is because um, the first alkyl group that enters the, the structure activates the ring. It makes it uh, more reactive. That the first compound is more reactive. And then you can have a second alkylation. So, for example, in this example of benzene um, <clears throat> with um, um, with um, in a Friedel-Crafts alkylation, you have that the major product 
is not the introduction of one alkyl group, but the introduction of two alkyl groups. And again, why is this on this position and not in another one? Um, I will look at it in a, in a future video. So two problems. One, if you have a substituted benzene, um, you might not be able to, to do the reaction, depending on what the substituent is. If it's a withdrawal, if it's a, if it's a substituent that withdraws charge char from the benzene ring, because it makes it a worse electrophile, a nucleophile, that um, electrophilic substitution doesn't happen. And even when you have a benzene ring on, um, <clears throat> on its own, um, you can have the problem of multiple compounds, multiple products, because you have uh, you can have a different number of alkyl groups entering your structure. Another problem is that you can have or you do have carbocation rearrangements during alkylation. So, for example, this is a reaction that you know in in theory looks quite straightforward. You have benzene, you have um, just um, uh, chlorobutane and uh, interestingly what you do make is not butyl benzene I mean you do make it 35% of it you primarily make this sec butyl benzene like with this rearranged carbocation and that is because once you form the carbocation it sometimes evolves until it comes with the most stable carbocation, and that is the one that will react with your benzene ring. So in the case of the butyl carbocation, although it initially forms, this carbocation is more stable if it becomes this one, in which the, the, the positive charge is an intermediate carbon. And that is because these two carbons are providing a little bit of electronic charge that is helping that carbon um, stabilize that positive charge. While when the positive charge is in this, car in this carbon, you have two hydrogens. The hydrogens are not able to provide um, electron, um, you know, a bit of charge uh, for that carbon to stabilize the, the positive charge. And it's only this carbon that is helping by um, by um, you know, by by giving a bit of um, of charge, uh, stabilize that carbocation. So this is the most stable carbocation, and that is the one that will react preferentially. We call this a hydride shift because it's the hydrogen that has moved from one um, carbon to to the next. You can also have an alkyl shift. And here, for example, um, we have an example of uh, benzene reacting with um, one chloro to two dimethylpropane. And the first, um, the first uh, reaction with the aluminium chloride is the formation of the carbocation that corresponds to this compound. However, if you think of where the, the, all the carbons in that structure, this carbon here has only one carbon that can donate a bit of charge to stabilize that positive charge. If you have an alkyl shift, if this methyl group moves to this carbon, you form this carbocation. This carbocation is a tertiary carbocation. You have more carbons around this, this carbon with a positive charge, adding charge to that carbon and stabilizing that positive charge. So the product that you form in the uh, Friedel-Craft uh, alkylation is not the one from this carbocation, it is the one from this carbocation, which is the most stable one. So when you're looking at uh, Friedel-Craft alkylation, you look at the carbocation that is formed and then you see if by the moving one hydrogen or one methyl group from an adjacent carbon, you can form a more stable carbocation and that will be the one that will react uh, preferently and sometimes exclusively. Acylations are more uh, predictable as the reaction of the benzene with an acid chloride and again with the use, using um, aluminium trichloride to, to form that uh, the carbocation and introduction of an acyl group and um, they are, um, is, the mechanism is similar to the, to the alkylation 
Um, and the well, advantage is that acyl cations do not rearrange, so they are more predictable. Once you, you know, the, the acid chloride you are using, that is the structure that will go into the into the benzene ring. And as you can see, the first uh, the first step is uh, the formation of the um, the acyl cation. Um, and the removal in this case of the of the chlorine uh, from the, the the acid chloride uh, structure and this acyl cation is stabilized by these two resonant forms and then once you have formed the cation it reacts with the benzene ring the benzene ring the, the electrons the pi electrons act as a nucleophile um, it attacks the, the positive charge from the, um, from the acyl cation that you have formed and then the removal of a hydrogen ion recovers the, the, um, the aromaticity and the benzene ring is, um, is um, uh, formed. So this is everything for now. I hope this was, this was useful and again any questions please do email me or post in the chat in the discussion board um, for the module. So thank you very much for watching.